In the vibrant city of Benin, Edo, Nigeria, Divine Ikubor came into the world on the 1st of May 2000. His father belonged to the Edo tribe, and his mother was from the Igbo tribe. From a young age, Divine showed a fascination for anime, manga, drawing, and writing comic stories. However, his childhood was abruptly cut short by tragedy. His father passed away mysteriously after spending a night in a hotel. Suspicions arose, suggesting foul play. Shortly after, his elder brother tragically died due to complications after surgery. At a tender age, the responsibility of taking care of the family fell on Divine's shoulders. He had to mature quickly and become the provider, facing the challenges that life threw at him. Amidst the trials and tribulations, Divine discovered a newfound passion for rapping. He eagerly joined the youth group at Christ Embassy, a church known for its vibrant music ministry. Within the church's walls, he found solace in expressing his thoughts through spoken words and rap music infused with the power of the gospel. Divine took charge as the leader of the Rap Nation group at the church. Together, they crafted soul-stirring performances that captivated the congregation. The energy he exuded on stage was electrifying, and the audience couldn't help but be moved by his music. During this time, Divine chose to adopt the name Rima, drawing inspiration from the word Rima, which signifies the creative word of God. The significance of this name resonated deeply within him as he sought to use his music as a vessel to convey divine messages. His undeniable skill caught the attention of his pastor, who delivered a prophecy that echoed through his soul. The pastor foresaw greatness in Rema's future, predicting that the world would one day sing along to his songs. This prophecy ignited a fire within Rema, serving as a constant source of motivation on his musical journey. However, Rema soon realized that the path to success was far from easy. The music industry was a challenging landscape, with obstacles lurking at every turn. Despite the initial hurdles, Rema persevered, pouring his heart and soul into his craft. He faced setbacks, disappointments, and moments of self-doubt, but his unwavering belief in the prophecy and his passion for music fueled his determination. During his secondary school years, Rima enrolled at Igile Group of Schools. It was there that he crossed paths with a kindred spirit named Osaij, who would become his trusted friend and ally. Fueled by a shared passion for music, they joined forces and formed a life band. With a burning desire to conquer the music world, Rima's path intertwined with that of a young talent named Alpha P. Their dreams and aspirations aligned seamlessly, leading them to form a dynamic duo known as RNA Group. Together, they embarked on a relentless pursuit of musical excellence. Spending countless hours in the studio, Rima and Alpha P immersed themselves in the intricacies of music. They honed their skills, recording tracks, and engaging in freestyle sessions that pushed the boundaries of their creativity. Their dedication bore fruit when they seized an opportunity to participate in the prestigious music talent show, Dream Alive, in 2015. Despite facing formidable competition, Rima and Alpha P's unwavering commitment and tireless efforts propelled them to victory. Their hard work and perseverance paid off as they were crowned the winners of the competition, a testament to their talent and potential. Following their triumph, the duo released their first official song titled Mercy. The track resonated with listeners, showcasing their unique blend of artistry and captivating melodies. It served as a stepping stone for their musical journey, paving the way for what was yet to come. Rima, Alpha P, and RNA Group had taken their first strides towards fulfilling their dreams. They stood at the precipice of greatness, ready to unleash their music upon the world, and the future held boundless possibilities for these rising stars. As Rima faced the weight of financial burdens, he found himself at a crossroads, forced to make a difficult decision. Determined to alleviate the strain and create a better future, he made a bold choice to venture to Ghana in pursuit of financial opportunities. 
His rationale lay in the favorable exchange rate, as the Ghanaian Cetus held more value compared to the Nigerian Naira. Rima believed that earning money in Ghana and converting it back to Naira upon his return would grant him newfound wealth. Driven by his ambitions, Rima resorted to a regrettable act. He stole his friend Eric's laptop. With the laptop in hand, he embarked on a journey to Ghana, hoping for a chance to turn his circumstances around. By a stroke of luck, he secured a job at a popular beach in Ghana, where he became responsible for organizing and hosting daily shows and events. This opportunity not only provided him with a source of income, but also allowed him to immerse himself in the vibrant Ghanaian music scene and delve into the intricacies of the local culture. Rima's time in Ghana was not squandered. He dedicated himself to learning Ghanaian music, absorbing its rhythms, melodies, and nuances. He delved into the rich tapestry of the people's traditions, embracing their customs and values. Through diligence and perseverance, Rima's hard work began to bear fruit. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Rima's savings grew steadily. The combination of his job at the beach and his astute financial management enabled him to accumulate a substantial sum of money. With his eyes set on his homeland, he returned to Nigeria. Upon returning to Nigeria, Rima carried a treasure in his hands, the hard-earned money he had saved during his time in Ghana. With a heart full of love and gratitude, he made a remarkable gesture, using a portion of his savings to purchase his mother an SUV. At the tender age of 17, Rima's act of filial devotion spoke volumes about his character and the deep bond he shared with his family. Although his finances had significantly diminished, Rima refused to let that deter him from pursuing his dreams. Driven by an unyielding passion for music, he stepped into the studio with the little money he had left in his pocket. With each recording session, he poured his heart and soul into his art, fully aware that every moment spent in the studio was an investment in his future. Not content with merely recording tracks, Rima sought to showcase his talents and reach a wider audience. He turned to social media, particularly Instagram, as a platform to share his gift with the world. Freestyle after freestyle, he posted videos that showcased his remarkable lyrical prowess, captivating viewers with his unique flow and magnetic stage presence. In the middle of his determined pursuit, something unexpected happened. De Prince, a renowned Nigerian artist, released a song titled Gucci Gang that resonated deeply with Rayma. Inspired by the infectious beats and catchy lyrics, Rayma felt compelled to leave his mark on the track. With unwavering determination, he channeled his creativity and crafted a freestyle that would not only pay homage to the original, but also showcase his own distinct style. Yeah. Yo, let me hear the freestyle to this. Hey, 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 y'all good you gang, good you gang, good you gang. And I wake up every morning feeling like the man. I'm not talking about the money, cause I got the brands. And I thank God every day because he hold my hand. Oh yeah, good you gang, good you gang, good you gang. And I come into the party with a bullet van. 90 people looking at me, they're like who the man. And I stop up with a team up and I got my gang. Cause you got it on your body, I'm a rock team. And if you got it, Gucci on your body, they go talk. But I know send what if you The freestyle for Gucci Gang became a turning point in Rima's career. The video spread like wildfire across social media platforms, capturing the attention of D. Prince. It was a testament to Rayma's raw talent and innate ability to captivate an audience with his artistry. As the freestyle gained traction, Rima's star began to rise. The world stood in awe of this young prodigy, marveling at his lyrical prowess and magnetic presence. He had emerged from the shadows, carving a path for himself in the competitive music industry, all while still in the early stages of his journey. On the 22nd of March 2019, De Prince signed Rayma to Johnzing Records, marking the beginning of a new chapter in his career. Soon after, Rima released his first EP titled Rima, 
which featured four songs, Do Maybe, Corny, Why, and Iron Man. Among the songs on the EP, Do Maybe gained immense popularity, exceeding all expectations. It was a track built on captivating melodies and infectious vibes. Interestingly, the song came to be during a studio session when Rema was feeling exhausted. Ozedicus, a renowned music engineer, played a beat that instantly resonated with Rima, and he began to improvise and create something magical. Though the lyrics were still missing due to fatigue, the studio session had to be concluded. The following day, Rima returned to the studio, mixed the sound, and played it for De Prince. With his artistic intuition and keen ear, De Prince fell in love with the improvised melodies in the song. He encouraged Rema to leave it as it was, and the rest, as they say, is history. Another standout track from the EP was Iron Man, which gained significant traction as well. In fact, it garnered such attention that it found its way onto former President Barack Obama's playlist for the year 2019, further elevating Rema's recognition and exposure. These early successes marked the beginning of Rima's musical journey, paving the way for a future filled with promise and boundless opportunities. Due to his success, he was crowned the next rated artist of the year in 2019. And the winner is Rima. On behalf of JC Motors, we present to Rima the keys to the brand new GS4 units of the GAC model. Please put your hands together for GAC. Thank you. Um, I want to say a big thank you for, to everybody uh, for, for supporting my sound. I want to give a big shout out to The Prince for um, giving me this platform. Big shout out to Don Jazzy. And I want to say I respect everyone in this room for coming out to celebrate with me. One love, respect. I am the future. As he went on to release another EP, Bad Commando and Rima Compilation, he fame grew as people resonated with his songs. He also released some power singles that propel him to another height soundgasm and ginger. But it all made sense when Rima was able to penetrate into the international market with his song Calm Down from the Rave and Roses album. His sound resonated with people all around the world, especially Indians. He earned a remix of the Calm Down with Selena Gomez, which propelled his song to the number three on the Billboard charts. This is the story of Rima, 